Okay, let's look at how to use layers and tools and uh, get a final run through all the other commands. Layers are a pretty useful way to organize your work. With components, they become pretty important. By keeping related geometry on a layer, you can move all of them as one set. You can also disable and enable la layers to do, for instance, the left side and the right side of a piece when you might need to move hold down blocks in between. Let's work with components and see how layers help us there. Uh, first, I'll add a couple DB9 components. And uh, you, you can see on the layers view that each, each one gets its, own, gets its own layer. Okay, now let's add um, DB25, say a uh, power port, and an LCD screen. Alright, now you can see that all the components have their own layer, and you can use that to easily move objects where you want them to be. Let's try uh, Okay, well, I guess that looks reasonable for now. Um, Alright, now you can also, if you don't want them to all be on separate layers, you can combine them. If you go back to the normal mode, if you select an object, you can move it to different layers. So let's move this first DB9 over to, or the second DB9 over to the first DB9 page. So now, if we pick that they both move as a group. They're both on the same layer. And now, because we did that, we might want to go clean up and delete that, that other layer. And so here's the layers dialog. It'll list the uh, it'll list what layers you have in your current uh, your current design, if they're on or off, and what relative offsets have been applied to each layer. Now. Uh, you know, here's where you could uh, toggle a layer on and off. See where it turned off the the power uh, port. You can also rename a layer. Or, uh, well, just, just delete it. So, uh, also, this is if you're not using, if you're not doing components quite like uh, like this, then you can just add layers on your own here and uh, you know make a completely um, from scratch design this way. All right, well we uh, we don't need these. Okay, well, okay, now, um, each layer has a default tool. You can see that. Um, let's see. Let's uh, let's go ahead and start a new design here to show that. Okay. Now, when I start drawing with the geometry tool, it's uh, when I've completed when I've completed a shape. It's it's automatically. Um, drawn a tool path around it to cut on the outside. Now the tool that it uses is based on this layer settings dialog from the layer menu. So you could um, change that for the layer and now the current tool is the 38 end mill and you see it doesn't change anything that's already on the layer it's just just something you've got something new it'll use that and that's uh, that's just an easy way to uh, choose which tool you're working with. All right. Well, I think that's probably it for uh, for the layers. Let's uh, take a look at the tool dialog. This is where you can define uh, tools that you're working with. Which really all it comes down to is just what diameter offsets you want to be working with. 
Um, this is where you can change and, and add or delete tools. If you wanted to, d to delete the tools, then it would make you, uh, it's going to make you close your work before you do that because it's, it's not safe to delete a tool while, a, um, you know, if it's possible the work might use that tool and that would not be good. Also, uh, there's a reset button here which will uh, delete all your tools and go back to the original. It'll ask you uh, if you're sure, so it's not something you should be hitting by accident. Okay, well, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and close this out and go back to the tool dialog. Let's go ahead and add a new tool. Let's add a, a drill bit. Leave it one eighth drill bit. All right, you can define the diameter and the color. Now the color are in RGB values, where and they're from zero to two fifty five. So two fifty five comma zero comma zero would be all red, and uh, all two fifty fives would be white. All zeros would be black. The uh, the other the other parameters on the on the tool page are really just for reference. They're not uh, they're not used for anything in the application right now. Oh, we already have one called that. All right, so we've added another another drill bit. And, well, anyway, that's that's how you can uh, cr uh, add whatever tools you might have to the program. All right. Um, this uh, now, I guess with the tools, this is keep in mind this is designed for the for the uh, benchtop mill that I have, and there's obviously no tool changer. And so uh, while you can make NC files with multiple tools in the same file, this program will not add tool change commands or pauses for you. If you need to do that, you'll just need to edit the NC file after you're done with this program.